Hi and welcome back. So many of you know that at the end of last August, we had to move out of our old apartment. We came back from summer vacation to a flooded apartment, which while a big pain in the butt to deal with, ended up being a blessing in disguise. Because even before that flood, we had suspected that this apartment, which we had only moved in less than a year earlier, had some serious mold issues. And the reason we thought so was that Sam, our little girl, our dog, ended up getting really sick around May. She was throwing up bile every single day for four months. Of course, I took her to a bunch of different vets. I took her to four different vets. None of them could find anything wrong with her. Around the same time that Sam and I am pointing behind me because Sam always sleeps behind me when I film but around the same time Sam got sick, I also started having some strange symptoms, which didn't seem to correlate, and I could not put my finger on what was wrong with me or Sam. So a friend of mine suggested I take a mole test. And if you're curious what test I ended up taking, I will link it down below. So this test showed that I had some very high levels of a toxic mold metabolite which is usually found in water damaged buildings. So again, this flood ended up being a blessing in disguise because I think without this flood, we would have not been able to leave the apartment. But we moved out at the end of August and for four months, we lived in different hotels and temporary housing. Just before Christmas, we got to move into this apartment. So in today's video, I will give you a tour of our new Parisian apartment. Come on in. So this is of course the entry, the foyer. One of the things I love about this apartment is that it has a window in every single room. It just makes it so nice and bright. We definitely take our shoes off when we come into the apartment because Parisian streets are not very clean. So this is the entry. And then right as you come in to the left is the kitchen. If you saw my old apartment tour, which is now irrelevant, you saw that we had a tiny kitchen. Our old kitchen was a galley kitchen. And while this one is not big either, it is at least twice as big as our last one was. So this is where we sit in the mornings and have breakfast and we can watch our neighbors have breakfast as well. And then over here, this big thing is the on-demand water heater. I really like this kitchen. It has a dishwasher, which is great, a washing machine, and then the dryer is out in the hallway. My only complaint about this kitchen is that there is not a lot of workspace. So really this tiny area right here is all I have to cut things up and mix things up. And there's not a lot of storage space. So while these cupboards are really pretty, so that noise is the on-demand water heater that just turned on. So while these cupboards are really pretty, they are not very deep and they really don't fit much i'll show you so it's kind of like playing jenga when you open these up and you pull something out you just hope the whole thing doesn't fall apart but you can see these cupboards really aren't very deep and you just can't store much i have to show you these i am addicted to these so we recently went to germany for my birthday and I went to a health food store and picked, I think I picked this one up 
the mandel cream so this is an almond cream i ate one of these in two days like i said these are addictive so when we came back i ordered 14 of these in different flavors so i have the almond cream this one is a coconut almond cream this one is a peanut butter my husband loves and then i have all kinds of other flavors in the back like i said this is a bit like jenga so if you're looking for something you just have to move things around but these the brand is rapunzel so this is a german brand unfortunately i don't think you can find these in the united states but if you live in europe you have to give these a try like i said they are addictive so that is my one complaint about this kitchen is the cupboards just don't have a lot of space and there isn't a lot of work area but i do think it is actually a very cute kitchen i do love the stove this is a five burner stove with a huge oven and while this looks like it would be a broom closet or a storage closet unfortunately it is not and this is what houses the electric meter so brooms mops all of that is unfortunately out in the open and even our plates <laughs> so we got these big plates in italy even these are actually too big to fit into the cupboards so we have them out here with some dried beans and lentils and nuts the big burkey and then this door right here is the fire exit so it's not the greatest to put this right in front of it but we just needed a bit of extra storage and this is easy to move in case we actually had to use this door so this is the kitchen and then this is actually a typical size european fridge i know it's quite tiny for american standards the top is the freezer i don't think i have much in it but as you can see it doesn't really fit much either and then the bottom portion is the fridge which also doesn't fit much but here in paris you really have to shop basically every day we don't have a car here everything is done on foot so we shop basically every day so let's go back outside into the entry and into the living room <laughs> so one thing these housemanian apartments are known for is the gorgeous wooden floor but these floors are quite noisy this apartment was built in the mid 1800s and something else these apartments are known for these housemanian style apartments are the high ceilings and the gorgeous ceiling detail i really wanted to film this for you on a sunny day because on a sunny day this apartment is bathed in sunlight and it's just gorgeous but it is winter in paris and there is no sunshine in the forecast for at least the next two weeks so this is the living room and when we left our old apartment we had to throw out a lot of our furniture because of mold so we did get a new couch a new rug and even sammy got a new doggy bed and the couch and even sam's bed are made from latex and we decided we wanted latex because latex is mold resistant so just in case this place had any mold which luckily it doesn't but we just didn't want to throw out more furniture and i really like this couch and like i said even sam's doggy bed is made from latex so on top of loving this floor and the high ceilings and the ceiling detail i love these windows and like i said on a sunny day it's just gorgeous in here so from here of course you can see we get into the dining room and this right here is an air filter so having lived in a moldy apartment we decided it's a good idea to run an air filter and of course paris is quite polluted as well so we have an air filter in the living room and in the bedroom so you probably hear a bit of background noise 
So from the living room to the dining room, there's just this big open doorway. And again, I love the high ceilings and look at this ceiling detail right here. It would be so interesting to see what this looked like in the mid 1800s. And then something else these Hausmanian style apartments are known for are these gorgeous fireplaces. Now, unfortunately, this is the only fireplace in the apartment. There were fireplaces in some of the other rooms because as you can see, around the fireplace, the wood is darker. So we can still see that in the other rooms, but unfortunately they took them out. And these fireplaces, by the way, are non-operational. So you're not allowed to use them because it's a fire hazard, but they are beautiful. And then we also got a new dining room table. Now this table, it was delivered to the apartment building, but they didn't bring it upstairs. It didn't fit in the tiny elevator outside. So my husband had to carry this up the stairs by himself. It weighs over 200 pounds. So he got a great workout and I think it was worth it. It's a beautiful table. And then right here is another one of these big open doorways going into this room right here. So we weren't quite sure what to do with these bookshelves because we did throw out all of our books because of mold. But my husband thought it would be nice to put our pictures out here and just things that remind us of our life together. We actually, and that's the picture right here, we actually got engaged in Paris about 11 years ago. We had no idea we would ever live here. We came here on vacation and my husband took me to the Tour de Montparnasse, which is the tallest building in Paris. And I hope you can see from up there, you have a view of the whole city including the Eiffel Tower. And then after we got engaged the same day, that's this picture right here, we went to Notre Dame and there used to be this bridge with all these love locks on it. Unfortunately, this became so heavy that it collapsed into the Seine. But somewhere in here is our lock with our initials and we threw the key into the Seine which is supposed to symbolize eternal love. So this room isn't quite done yet. I would like a few plants up in here. And also down here, I have a couple of pots, which I still want to fill with plants. And then from here, we go into my office and filming area. So this room right here, has a window, which is lovely. So it has some nice natural light, but it does not face the main street. So it's nice and quiet. If you remember the videos I filmed in our old apartment, it was quite loud. So it's nice to have a bit of peace and quiet back here. And this room isn't quite done either. I still need to hang some things up on the wall and organize it a bit better. Back here is where Sammy sleeps when I film. She loves to be in the back when I film. You usually can't see her, but she's always there. So this is my office and filming studio. Like I said, it needs a bit more love and sprucing up, but it is operational. So let's go to the back of the apartment. To the left right here is my husband's office slash guest room and this room also <laughs> needs a bit more love it needs a few paintings or pictures on the wall maybe a plant but i will let my husband take care of that so this is where he works when he's home and if you come to visit us and this is where you get to sleep now this room actually faces one of the main streets but it is so much more quiet here than our old neighborhood so in the old neighborhood, I could never open the window. It was just so loud. Here, you actually can, especially at night once the traffic dies down. So we used to live in the 7th Arrondis Mall, right by Champ de Mars, right by the Eiffel Tower, which was a great area, but it was also very crowded, touristy and loud. Now we live a bit outside of Paris, really just one metro stop 
from Paris proper, but it is so much more quiet and less touristy. So even back here, like I said, every single room, and this is actually just the hallway, has a window, giving this place a lot of light. And then here is the toilet. So it is quite common for Parisian apartments to have the toilet separate from the bathroom. So this is just a tiny room with a tiny sink and toilet. And then off to the right is the bathroom. So this apartment does have two bathrooms. This is the bigger one and it is my bathroom. I needed the bigger one for all my skincare. It is also quite common in Paris to not have a separate shower and bathtub. So usually they are combined. I do like the two sinks and then there is really not a lot of storage. So I went to Ikea and got these baskets just for some organization. And then up here is my daylight lamp. So this is something I turn on first thing in the morning in winter because when I wake up in winter, it's dark. And so this gives me some blue light stimulation, signaling to my body to stop producing melatonin and produce cortisol. So it helps me regulate my circadian rhythm. And even the bathroom has a window, which I think is quite important for circulation. And you can see even in here how high the ceilings are. In fact, I can barely reach that window. So that's my bathroom. And then we get into the master bedroom. Actually, I don't think this is supposed to be the master bedroom because the bathroom is not attached to it. But this is the only room in the whole apartment that actually has some closet space. And since the bed fit perfectly between it, we decided to make this our bedroom. It's not a lot of closet space. My husband and I share this, but we did get a couple of armoires from the embassy. So my husband has his uniforms and suits in here. And like I said, there is really no storage in this apartment. So the vacuum cleaner boxes, suitcases are out in the open. We also did get a new mattress. This is also a latex mattress and it's actually quite nice. And then again, I love the big windows and the ceiling detail. I really wish it was a sunny day, but I hope you can still see how gorgeous this is. I'm not too crazy about these curtains. <laughs> they came with the apartment, but they make it nice and dark at night. And again, this is facing one of the main streets but it is so much more quiet, especially at night once the traffic dies down. And here again, we have an air filter, which we run all day long. This is where my LED light therapy device lives. And then let's go back out. This thing right here is just a fan. Here is the dryer. And then I actually think this is supposed to be the master bedroom. It is a gorgeous room. I love the windows again, I love the high ceilings, but since this didn't have any closet space, we decided to turn this into our gym. So this is where my husband and I work out every morning. And what's neat is we get to watch when we work out, we get to watch Parisian life unfold right here in the mornings. It's quite busy in the mornings with everybody going to work and walking the dogs and running. So it's kind of fun when we are working out. And then over here, I have my portable sauna, which is one of the best things I have ever gotten for myself. I wasn't quite sure whether I would use this and whether it would actually do anything, but I use this daily and it has made such a difference. So I'll show you. I just open this up and I sit inside of here and it actually heats up to 75 degrees celsius you don't have to heat it up that high but that's where i like it and then it is full spectrum infrared so just sit in here i relax i watch a youtube video or something like that and like i said i use this daily it is one of the best things i have ever gotten for myself
and then this right here i apologize it might be messy and this is my husband's bathroom so he took the smaller bathroom and again shower and bathtub are combined and strangely enough they decided to put a toilet in the smaller bathroom not the bigger one and again it has a nice big window which is great especially in the bathroom for airflow and circulation so that is it that is our new apartment i'll walk you back out so you get a different angle like i said the floor is quite noisy it's part of the charm but we are really really happy here it was a stressful four months not knowing would we get a new apartment when where so we lived in hotels we lived in four different hotels we lived in two different temporary housings it was stressful but it was worth it we are really happy here we love this place we love the neighborhood there is a very big park close by the border bologna so sam is happy i'm happy and like i said it is much more quiet less touristy so we are really happy here so i hope you enjoyed this apartment tour i know some of you are going to ask how big this place is and i honestly don't know but i will try to find out and then put it in the description box so thank you so much for going on this tour with me and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye